I can see that bullshit from a mile away. See it. You can step my mother about a mile away. Stack it. I got three white bitches like it's powder day. What? Me coat with the rolls like a Sharpe. <sighs> and all of my bitches says they call them Barbies. She looking back like I'm flexing, baby, no way. Uh-huh. And lately I've been on we that do say. Yeah. 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 Me a chick, I got a chick. Yeah, I done got me a chick, I got a chick. Yeah, I done got me a chick, I got a chick. Yeah, I done got me a chick, I got a chick. Flip me some packs. I talk like I want it. She don't say nothing back. If cops pull up, I put that crack in my crack. What's cracking, y'all? This is the Car the Barber back with another tutorial. Here we're gonna be doing a mid-high taper with no hook line up down the side. This is gonna be actually I'm, is my brother in my in the video right now. Going combing his waves out. He's actually really taking the taking the wave game over in the family. As you can see, he is spinning. My man, go ahead and comb it all out. Now we're gonna set our bald line to our taper right towards the top of the ear. Go ahead and bald that out straight to the corner, the temple area. Again, this is a mid-high, so we're gonna completely take that hook line up out. Go ahead and set your bald line in the back. I like to arch the bald line a little bit in the back. As you can see, I line it up with the bottom of the ear, the ear lobes, just to give me kind of a guide to make sure I'm not going too high on my taper. Bald that out, same thing on the other side. All right, here you can see me checking my bald line, making sure I'm about equal so I don't go higher on one side of the taper. Go ahead and take my shavers, flicking up against the grain because you will create a line with the shavers. Same thing on the other side. And then here you're going to see me in the back of this taper, you're going to see me flick down with my shavers. That's just to create more of a transition in that line, not to have some such a harsh line to take out. Now we're going with the grain with a one and one half with my wall seniors. Going over the same spots, combing through, going over the same spots just because it has been a man a minute since my man's got cut. So I'm getting everything nice and even. I don't really care about football at all, but still. It's the one. Like y'all don't feel what I'm saying. You see what I'm feeling? Alright, so right now. I'm pretty much rough drafting my haircut. I'm knocking down everything that I know that I don't need there. Like right now, I have my one and one half, knocking down bulk, making it look like he got cut not too long ago because it's been a while. So I'm preparing to blend, getting everything ready so I can just start blending, knocking down all the hair I know that I don't need there. It's been so long since he got a cut. I decided to clean up the edges against the grain. So forgive me for that. All right, now that I have a nice visual and rough draft of my cut, I can go ahead and start blending. So I blow them off, brush them off real good, lever all the way open, go up about a half inch. I know it's sped up, but pay attention to my fingers and my lever. I pay attention to my fingers and my lever. I'll say it again, pay attention to my fingers and my lever. So now that the lever's all the way open, closed, flicking out those dark spots to start that transition. Same thing with my number one guard. Up, lever all the way open, up about a half inch to an inch, closed. Now we're just playing with that lever to flick out those dark spots using the corner of my blade. Here's my half guard. This is just to clean up in between that one and that open. Flicking out those dark spots. Now that I have a nice rough draft of this side taper, I go ahead and go through my same exact steps. Now I have my one and a half guard, my number one guard, just repeating the steps, going over the same thing, just to clean up, nice, have a nice transition to that blend from bald to wavelength on top. Nice side taper looking cool. Same exact thing in the back, lever all the way open, up about an inch to a half inch, all the way closed, tapping that that bottom bald line, open the lever a little bit, get those dark spots, same thing. Just repeating the same steps. It's all cutting is repeating the same steps, going over your work, 
touching it up, cleaning it up, making that blend pop. Next we're gonna do the same thing. Number one guard, lever all the way open, ab up about a half inch to an inch, but close the lever, start blending that bottom line out. I'm a suburban dude. Now I know y'all heard his laugh. I don't know how I did not notice that when in the shop. I didn't even look or anything, but man, that was ugly, bro. I hope, dude, man, I'm not sure whose laugh that was. That was ugly, though. But back to the taper. Just gonna let y'all watch me go to work. You guys pretty much get the steps. Here, I'm just touching up that side taper. You guys just pay attention. These last 15 to 10 minutes of the cut are prime. These are probably the most important minutes of the cut. Detailing, getting those small details, making that blend pop, making those line pop. Last 10 minutes of the cut, most important 10 minutes. Details, details, details. Go ahead and watch me go to work. All right, I pretty much got my blend down, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray some holding spray across this whole edge up. Go ahead and blow dry them, brush them down real good, get those hairs laying down real nice, so when I put the liners on them, it pops. You feel me? And as you can see, them T retros is punching. That boy line coming out crisper than crisp. As you can see, getting the autumn little hairs going hooking around that ear. Ugh. Butter right there. You see that. You see that. It's all about the preparation, y'all. Preparation is key when you cut in hair. Key. I prepared that lineup. I prepared that blend. So I when I when it came down to doing it, it's like nothing, like butter. I've prepared the hair. Prepared, you feel me? And now that you see that lineup in there, you can see the blend is really coming together. It was looking a little iffy, but I, once you put that line in there, that blend, man, you can really get detail. Now, after I do this lineup, I'm, of course, I'm going to go back over my steps and touch up them details now that the lineup's in there it's already blended and i could have him hop out the chair as soon as i'm done with this lineup but nope i'm gonna go back over my steps re repeat repeat detail detail again here you see me detailing using the corners of my blade moving playing with that lever to get out all these dark spots and lines that you see in the blend slap my half guard on there doing the same thing detailing detailing Getting those small details that the average barber would just blow past it and have his client just get out the chair because he knows that he's got someone else. Like, I'm telling you, here we're gonna go ahead and tack this line up. Preparing it, knocking those hairs down again, spraying some more holding spray, blow drying and brushing those hairs down. Preparing this lineup before I even touch the clippers. Still showing you guys how far his lineup's at, keeping them real natural. Now I'm attacking it, keeping them real straight using the corners of my blade to get in those small areas, brushing the hair different ways, catching every single little hair. Details, baby, details. You see half the lineup done and you can already see the difference. Details, baby. Touching up this lineup still, getting as crispy as possible before we throw this color enhancement on.
back is my brother's signature cut. He always gets the two parts in the back, the top one longer than the bottom. Again, touching up that line before we get in there nice and straight before we go ahead and throw this color enhancement on. Real simple, cover up the skin, align the card with the hair where you want along the hairline, apply it real light, nice and natural. As you can see, this enhancement is not meant to cover up any flaws, simply to just darken those light spots that everyone has naturally. Some people's hairlines aren't as crispy. My brother's actually is pretty crispy without the enhancement, but I just threw it on just to show you guys what an enhanced haircut looks like. And I like enhancing, to be honest. As you guys can see, this taper is coming together real nice. Here we just going over our work, detailing still, cleaning up the line, getting any dark spots out of that blend before we go ahead and razor them up. Razor is probably one of my favorite things to use. Real simple, keep the blade flat, keep it flush to the skin, don't turn it too much, that's how you nick people. Just make sure to get real detailed, get in those small tight areas that you can't with your liners, knock out all those stubbles, all those close small hairs. It's what really takes your line up to your cut to the next level as you can see. I'm using that razor going to work with it, getting all those little tiny hairs. Every hair matters y'all. Here I'm going to show you one of my favorite techniques, razor of a comb, comb through the hairs on top with the razor on top, catches the strays, any hairs that stick up, makes those waves pop. Now it's on the beat, boy. Exit made this. So clean up those last hairs on this neck, dust them off real good, don't leave them all hairy, that's always annoying. I appreciate you guys, really, 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 I appreciate you guys making it all the way through this video, I know it was long, this is the after crispy line blurry taper waves hitting this is my brother let me go and show you guys the before brought this boy back to life waves is already hitting now he's got a nice blend nice line on him you see here what a cut can do to you man go and get my little after snap again subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already it really helps the channel out I'm trying to grow the channel real big appreciate it this is the car of the barber and i'm out